Hey there everyone, it's Candy V here and today I'm going to be opening up February's lucky box. So as always this thing is huge. So I'm going to have to cut right back after I've got all the items out of the box. I know I say this every time, but I would be seriously surprised if you don't know what a lucky box is by now because I do them pretty much every month when they're available. But if somehow you don't already know, Lucky Boxes are a monthly subscription service and it's a box full of lovely, lovely sweeties and Pokemon goodies. I love them so much, they're so precious. But the note that we've got this month says, Hi Lucy, enjoy these Valentine themed surprise bags. Please let your viewers know of my February special. Order one Lucky Box with a surprise bag bundle to get a $2 discount at checkout. Thank you from Arknight. So, that's that, if you want to take advantage of that offer, then links will be in the description below. There is a complete overload of candy this month, so let's take a look at it all. We've got this Kit Kat Red Velvet flavor. I don't actually know what Red Velvet flavor is meant to taste like, so I guess I'm gonna find out pretty soon. But second up, we've got this massive bag full of candy. What exactly is all this stuff? There's this uh, tiny conversation hearts, which um, are known as love hearts over here. You get them in like little plastic wrapping. I've never heard of a uh, Brox before, so that's something new. Oh, PC ice cream cone thingies. Um, I've had these before. I've had the chocolate ones. They're just like fake ice cream cones, and they taste really good. And the wafer is just is beautiful. There's this keychain. This isn't um, quite sweets, but I guess it's uh, meant to be themed like that because that's a biscuit. And it's got a chestbin charm. I'm pretty sure we already have one of those with an Eevee on it, so that's uh, really, really nice. There's another Kit Kat Red Velvet. Uh, what exactly is this? Ah, uh, I have no idea what this is. It looks like some kind of rice cracker, I, I think. And then there's a Froakie coin. Look at it. I guess we're gonna have to um, say goodbye to these pretty soon with um, seventh generation TCG rolling in. I doubt that they're really gonna put out uh, too many more Kalos starter coins because those got spammed throughout every product ever, but I guess um, probably not much anymore. But we've, um, ooh, this isn't a uh, candy. This is like a little um, mystery charm. So let's open it up and see who we got. Right, so I have no idea who it's going to be, but if I were to um, want one in particular, it would either be Boo, uh, one of the Koopas, or um, the Red Shell. I don't know. I don't know an awful lot about Mario, but... <laughs> uh, let's see who we got anyway. It is... Oh, yay, it's Boo! That's the one I wanted most. Cool. Nice. You can't really see him too well because he's like in plastic wrapping, so let's... Uh, Let's take him out of there and not cut the strap in the process. Look at him. Oh, isn't he precious? Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's still so much more in this bag. There's another one of these um, little wafer ice cream thingies. I don't know what the bit at the top's meant to even be, but it does taste really good. There's um, another rice cracker to finish it off. But seriously, so, 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 so much candy this month. Oh my gosh. If you are into this sort of stuff, then it is... It's amazing. <laughs> All I can say is that, but the main attraction isn't the sweets for me, it is the actual Pokemon themed box right here. So I am going to uh, cut back once we've got into this. I think that this evil toll coin fell out of one of the bags, so that is really, really nice. I've never actually seen that um, kind of holographic pattern on a coin before. It really does remind me of the um, the new holo style you get on Sun and Moon holos, but there's like an actual thing of poly tape, so I don't have to destroy it. This is a really good development. Let's see what's in the box. Even more sweets. <laughs> okay, so there's um, more of a Hello Panda. This one is strawberry. I do very much like strawberry. There is another bag of sweets. Oh my gosh. There's this uh, milk and stuff. Um, I can't see the rest of it, but lots and lots of lollies and really nice goodies. And what else? Oh yeah, Arknight was telling me about this. Oh, this is good. This is um, a new product. It's definitely exclusive to these lucky boxes. It's a cookie that's uh, shaped like their logo. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, but this is from uh, the Lucky Bakery. It's uh, kind of some company that he's uh, partnered up with. but. Look at this. Oh, it's got so much love put into it. Oh my gosh. 
But in the uh, box, we also have three little packages. So what's going to be in them? Oh wait, four actually. There's this, which is the um, the standard box of Lucky Sticks. And there's chocolate, my favorite. Yay. <laughs> There's also, uh, oh, I don't know which one to open first. There's like this envelope and there's this envelope. I think I'm gonna open this one up first. So what could be inside this one? There's a code, but it's mine. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, hey, a shiny mud cap. That's really nice. It says, Lucky Bugs, thanks for ordering the January Lucky Bugs. To commemorate the start of the year, my artwork will contain starter Pokemon as seen in the games. Enjoy the Pokemon cards and extras. Subscribe to the Arknet YouTube channel for updates. And then this month's uh, Lucky Card is a Lucky Snivy. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. I really, really do love Shiny Snivy. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a Shiny. I'm not sure, but still. Look at that. Lucky Snivy, I love the new year. I've already collected lots of food and shiny Lucky Charms. Let's be friends and I'll share my look with you. <laughs> okay, but in the first little envelope, we've got a Lucky Pack in which we are meant to do the card trick. So, there we are. Three and two. And there's a Japanese card in there. That's pretty neat. But there's an Octillery up front. There's Geodude, Helioptile, Buneary. The Japanese card is a random Gligar from Roaring Skies, I believe. Oh, hey, Chatop from some. I think that's Supreme Victors. There's Meditite, Basil Tower. Gotharita is the reverse from uh, some fifth gen set. And then the rare. Oh, hey. Oh, this is nice. This is from the. Um, the. Uh, the. Plasma Blast and Storm Blisters, the one that Brendan got Seeker Rat Ultra Ball out of. That is a beautiful holo. Very, very nice. Um, evidently originally from Next Destinies. I don't know if I've actually seen the original one or if it's a holo or not, but... Ooh, the uh, Cosmos uh, holo foil pattern is very beautiful as always, but... The main attraction is, of course, the booster packs. So what's going to be... What are the booster packs going to be? Let's see. So we've got ourselves... Steam Siege, Breakpoint, and Ancient Origins. So I'm pretty sure that I do have quite a few of those in the Lucky Dip already. So we're just gonna open them all up off the bat and we're gonna be going from newest to oldest. If this pack will cooperate with me, oh my gosh, packs are really not being nice to me lately. What is with these? Okay, but from Steam Siege, I'd say cards that I don't have slash would want to get would probably be like secret res and all that stuff so let's see what exactly we can get so this one has a rufflet there's larvesta joltic tangler pawniard there's vilus driftlim god of war spirit link there's a clinker's reverse and the rare is a hooper non-hollow which is a pretty big shame but oh well it's fine i'd say i'm very much looking forward to this pack of breakpoint what cards do I not have from Breakpoint? I'm not sure. The Darkrai Full Art is very, very nice, as are the, um, the Gyarados ones as well. I don't believe I actually have any of the um, the Gyarados Full Arts apart from the, the Secret Rare, so... Huh. Maybe? <laughs> Let's see. This pack has Corsola, there's Froki, Ferroseed, Electabuzz, Staryu, Misty's Determination, uh, Arcanine, Aromatis, there's a Drowsy and the Rare. It's a Zeb Striker non hollow. Ooh. But it's Ancient Origins going to save the day. Can we get a hollow at least, please? My look with uh, Generation 6 sets usually isn't too great. So, ooh. We're kind of pushing it, but let's see. In this pack, we got ourselves an NK. There's a Relicant, Ball Toy. There's Ralts, La Vesta, Vespaquen, Forest of Giant Plants, there's Gloom. The reverse is Whimsicott, and the rare is... Oh my god, what? A Mega Tyranitar EX Full Art. Not a card I have. What an insane way to finish off this month's Lucky Box. Oh my gosh, a Full Art, what? This is not my 6 gen look at all. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. But 
yeah as always if you do want to check out all of the links in the description below i would very much appreciate that because if you do then maybe you can get cards like this if you're uh, as lucky as me with the packs but as always thank you very very much for watching today's video and i will see you next time bye